Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and today Call of the Wild or EW as some of you might say dropped a new trailer and I possibly think it might be the best trailer they've ever done. I'll let you guys have a look at that, I'll play it now and it's just such a good trailer. Hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to Sundalpatan, Nepal, a one-of-a-kind hunting reserve that is both beautiful and challenging. Here, you'll find animals you can't see anywhere else and experience the thrill of the hunt like never before. There are three regions in Sundarpatan, each with their own distinct climate, wildlife and rich cultures. In the middle is Pahad, with its tempered climate, characterized by the terraced rice fields and dense, colorful forests where our national flower, the rhododendron, blooms in the wild. It is here you'll spot the Tibetan fox, a clever hunter with a face you can't forget. To the south is the Terai region. This lush landscape owes itself to the heavy rains that frequent it in the dense forests and savannas, it's easy to move unseen. But the same goes for the reserve's top predator, the Bengal tiger. It hunts its prey by stalking from behind, and that could be you. Finally, to the north is the Himal region. These might not be the tallest mountains in Nepal, but don't be fooled. The Himal is a hard place to survive. It's this hostile landscape that the snow leopard calls home. Skilled at stalking and hiding, you'll need more than just tracking scales to spot one. Sundarpatan is not for the faint of heart, but if you're up for adventure and up to the challenge, there's nowhere else like it. Welcome to Nepal. Welcome to Sundarpatan. my god is that trailer amazing or what i cannot wait to get on this map it looks so good the barasinga might actually be my favorite species on the map i actually just cannot wait to get out there and hunting them looking at them now through a series of photos the antlers on them are mad i really want a diamond of them they do look absolutely amazing then we move on to the first video of the Himalayan tar and they look so good. The horns on them and the fur looks really good. The way that they're that bushy just looks absolutely epic. Again, one of the species I want to get out there and start hunting and maybe get the great one for them quite quickly. Now we don't know if they're going to have drink zones. Some species tend to not have them and we don't know that yet. So it might be an awkward great one to hunt. So I hope it's not and I hope it's a relatively easy one because I want to get it quite quickly. Then we move on to the Tibetan fox. But I, I really don't like the way it looks. The model is amazing, but the face on it is just awful. I really don't like it. It'd be awesome to get a diamond of it, because any fox that you get a diamond of is awesome, because they're such a hard re um, diamond to get. It's a really, really rare one. But I guess the model looks all right, and yeah, I guess it's one of the species that I really want to hunt, but if I said that, I'd be lying. <laughs> Next, we have the most important part of the video, showcasing the aggression features of the lion. Now, she talks about, like, the lion stalking you like prey, which obviously hints at and shows that we are going to be stalked and attacked like we are a deer or something within the game. And that is the most important part of the video. It looks so good. I'm so hyped for the tigers. I cannot wait to get one of the rares or one of the diamonds for it. It's so, so cool. 
Now we have what is believed to be the yak. Not many people have been talking to, talking about this species, but I absolutely love the model of it. The horns look really great. They remind me of the Bantang in Emerald Coast. And yeah, it's, it looks like a really, really good species that you'll find up in the mountainous areas and stuff like that. It does look absolutely awesome. And yeah, the species that I will want to hunt and get out there on the first day. Next we have the snow leopard and yeah she talks about you needing more than your tracking skills and yeah from the video it shows that it prowls really low to the ground in snowy areas and the snow leopard is white and it's got bits of black in it which represent like rocks and stuff it's going to be so 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 hard to see um, within the snow and stuff like that, so, yeah, it's gonna be a hard one to get a diamond of, and especially if it's got, like, albino and leucistic rares, how are you gonna find an albino snow leopard? <laughs> And now to end off the video, we have some more of the tiger stretching and movements like that. Just more showcasing the animations and obviously the release date, which is the 18th of June, which is just over two weeks away. Oh my god, I can't wait! It's a day before my last exam, which is a little bit annoying, but hopefully I can get a video out the day before, and hopefully it releases at a good time, so I should be able to get um, a video out the day before. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!